I'll, I'll record. I'll start recording from part two. So okay. let's see if it this will let me. It says it's recording in progress. Okay. Okay. Can you all see my screen? Yep. Yes. Can you all see this? Okay. These were my little pink clay masks last year. And Kathy, I hear you on trying to get the little washcloths made into a turban. Just looking at that kind of gives me an anxiety attack. But yep. I do remember I figured it out with little those little elastics that are kind of clear. And so it would act as another pair of hands, but those sold really quickly. Okay. Um, let's see where- If you double click on those, Sus, do they get bigger? Can you- Is that bigger no. now? No. no. Yeah, it got huge on my screen. It's little, huh. it's very little. It's little. It's little bitty. Is that bigger? No. no. Okay. I don't know. I mean, you're seeing it really little? Yeah. Well, that's right. That's just stupid. I don't know. I don't know this, why it's little. This, um, I, okay. Um, on my screen, it it's massive right now. Let's see. <laughs> Zoomed it. That's not any bigger. Everything uh -uh. I'm doing is making it larger. Were you seeing the little bitty picture? Little We're bitty seeing picture. like 15 of them on a, on a. Well, that should not be happening. Okay, let me let me try again. Um, I tell you what, let me let me uh, pull it up this way first. Let's see if that'll work. Now I'll do screen share, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we are just technology. Not don't you love it? <laughs> love it and hate it yeah. all at the same time. Share screen. Okay, you don't see it big yet. Uh -uh. No. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't, I don't know what else to do. Um, okay. Well, we'll squint. Pull them back up again and describe them. We okay. can see them. Oh, oh there, there they are. are. What'd you do? I don't know. Don't even. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, so oh, good. All right. So these were just the little $4 deluxe minis. Now, I'm, I'm more inclined to encourage y'all to sell you know, what you get section one credit for, but these are always really big hits. And all I did was tie a ribbon on them. I threw peppermints and some shred down in them. And I, I think I sold these for $10 because, you know, to, to get these for four, I think they're still four. Then you double it to eight plus your shred and your time in the ribbon. I got no problem charging 10 bucks for these. No, heck no. Okay. These were super cute last year too. And what we'll do is we'll um, go onto our Facebook groups, make sure that we've got these in our files that just to be able to print these off. But these were the hand sanitizers and the soaps and they were just wrapped as Santa and elves. So those, those flew out of here. This was a Peter's packaging um, box as Kathy was showing. These are the long boxes and the bows it, we all know if you've watched her teach you how to make a bow, you'll never make a bow a different way again, right? So that's right. I just, I do things, you know, kind of like Kathy does. They're, they're kind of generic, black and white polka dot, red and white stripes. Those type of things work for all different holidays. So this was um, a limited brush set that I'd had at one time, but anything that will fit down in here um, would be great. These were just little buckets of beauty and I got these at Hobby Lobby and I filled them with all kinds of samples and you can just see down in there, um, there, there were a lot of deluxe minis. I don't recall what I charged for this, but I certainly got my money out of them and then some, um, I just call them a bucket of beauty. Now, one thing, um, Teresa, I'll uh, give you credit on this because I was on Amazon today and I ordered some of those little chalkboard signs that stand with a little easel or um, that you can wipe clean and reuse. So this year, everything will have a tag on it for sure, but then my table will have little signs set up so they'll know what's what. These were also stockings that you can get at Hobby Lobby. So if you don't see the houndstooth, these are always there. They're Santas and snowmans and elves. This was a, oh, this was huge. Those little satin body wash, scrub, and lotion. I think they are a dollar each. So this was $3 in products in here, plus my stocking and all. I think this might've been a, a seven or $8 gift. 
And it, it's just perfect because it's that little sample set with your sticker on all of them. This, this has always been fun too. You do have to watch your price points, um, which is what she said on the video. Um, it can be price prohibitive if you're not thinking um, enough about the prices that people are, are looking at. See, I had, I had some notes here from her video. I'll have to see if I can find them here in a bit, but you know, you don't want it to be price prohibitive. You have to think about people want, want things in the 10 to $15 range and, and you, they'll buy a lot of things in the 10 to $15 range, right? Because you're talking about teachers, bus drivers, the mail carrier, the oops gift that you have in the closet when somebody shows up with a gift for you and you don't have for them. They'll buy a lot of those. In the $25 range, you're probably talking about um, a sister or a sister-in-law. So you probably only need a couple of those. The $50 range is probably the mom and the mother-in-law. So you really only need one or two of those. So make sure that your, your price points, you know, think like your consumers. This was probably $40 or something. I don't remember exactly. I think it has a eye makeup remover and or maybe it's a, I think it's a lash intensity mascara and a baby eye makeup remover. What else would have been in there? Maybe oh, an eyelash a curler. curler. I think it was a curler, eyelash curler. So maybe it was not quite that expensive, but anyway, this is just an example to show you that even though we have things that um, are discontinued, you all have them if you've been in for even a minute in Mary Kay. So I just got the little hand mirrors at the dollar store and I put together little sets. We used to have the products at play, um, but it, you know maybe you have discontinued eyeshadows or discontinued lips, something, put them together and give them a deal um, just to get them out of your office. And I sold all of these. That was just a little called mirror, mirror. And it was just cellophane wrapped around it. I had sticky dots. Um, or hot glue will work. And I just put three products on there, wrapped them in cellophane on a mirror. That was really cute. This is what my bar looked like, had everything kind of set up. Um, this was a satin hands in an oven mitt. But if you've watched the video, she talked more about this year. You know, you only need so many oven mitts. They're cute, um, definitely. But you, you might just prefer to have a really pretty towel, a cute towel. Um, what were some of them we saw, Teresa? Um, can't remember. Um, don't never trust a skinny cook. Never trust a skinny <laughs> cook. That's right. So just cute. You might be looking for, um, oh, here's my notes. Um, yeah. So what I was saying is she said spa products are the big trend. Um, and I was talking to you about your price points. You need more things at the lower price points because um, they'll buy those um, all before Christmas, you know, for teacher gifts and hairdresser and things that before, uh, that people stop working before Christmas, but they need the higher priced ones for Christmas day. So you have time to get those made up, if that makes any sense. Okay, I already showed you that. This is the big envelope box I think Kathy was talking about. Um, this is perfect for um, your set and hand sets. Um, um, it's just a, and then you just wrap the bow around it. The envelope box gives it an increased perceived value. And so does that big ribbon on there. It doesn't cost you much to make the ribbon, but I'm telling you when it's wrapped and ready to go and with the tag on it, that all has value. Okay. And then we're back to that. Okay. This last year, as you recall, we had the little I makeup remover in the little rounds that came with it. Um, I would put those in one of those envelope boxes as well, but it just goes to show you how versatile those um, boxes are. Click on here. Oh, Teresa, remember these? These, were the, these were the little um, pot holders. They were handmade. I think we ordered them from where, Teresa, like the Covered Bridge Festival or something. And yeah, from that, Yes, she talked with. So that gave it an additional gift with the gift. So that was kind of cute. But really, you can just put it in um, the little one of her little spa boxes and 
you know, put some, wrap some gloves on it like Kathy showed you. Oh, I miss this. I wish we still had that. I actually made my sisters in law give me the boxes back so I can actually <laughs> fill them with something else if I want to. I, I would really love, maybe we can all make a suggestion to Mary Kay that we just be able to buy a 12 days of gifts box set and put what we want in it. I think yep. that'd be pretty cool. This is just kind of how I displayed. Oh, sorry, you have to turn your head to the side. These are those little um, stockings that Teresa was talking about from Hobby Lobby. I think these all have a hand cream or a satin lips. I mean, there's so many things can go in this with a candy cane and a bow. These, um, okay, talking about those little headbands, Teresa, today when I was making my Amazon order, I wish I thought to order more of the little headbands while I was on there. But these really make a cute extra gift and extra bow. Even if you don't have the Mary Kay ones left, they're, they're just so cute. Oh, that's one we don't have anymore. Let's see. Um, this was an easy way to wrap too. It, 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 our satin body, just put it down. The uh, hydrogel eye patches work well this way too. You just put it down in there, put the product on top of it, and then wrap it with a little bit of foof. And it just looks more expensive. Um, this is what I did on the clinical solutions. There's my gnomes. There's no one quite like you. I sold the cootie out of those things. Yep. This was just a uh, Mary Kay brush set with um, a brush cleaner that I gave as, as maybe it was a free gift or half price or something with the purchase of a set. And I just stuck a little lollipop ornament and a bow. Super cute. Remember those little brush sets? <laughs> yes. So this just to show you, like these are things that I had discontinued from a couple of years ago. Wrap those things up really cute and they'll sell. There's nothing wrong with them. They, they just didn't sell. And so sometimes they just need a little help. Um, this, do we still have the eyelash curler? Forgive me for having a moment here. I don't think so. It, okay. it may be on the pink sale, but I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. That's just a thing that I wrapped with, a, with um, the little deluxe mini mascaras or eye makeup removers. Those were cute. And then of course there's your headbands. Um, and they're cute. Um, you can even, if you want, you can wrap the mask if you want, and then put this around it. Um, I don't know what I'll do with my masks this year. Um, I kind of like this spa box and then put the, use the headband as the bow around it. I think that would be really cute. Um, it's another Thing, how I set up. I think, oh, <laughs> remember these, Teresa? I, yeah. I think those little squeaky dog toys came <laughs> from somewhere years ago. And again, I still had some wrapped like them in big there. Like lots or something. Yeah, go look at dog toys. Big lots. Big That's what it was. Big lots. Um, let's see if there's anything. I think I've been through them all. Oh, this was cute. I might've got this idea from you too, Teresa, but these are just little cupcake holders, the winter survival kit. What was in this, Teresa? Do you remember? Yeah, we put a, a little mini hand cream in there mm -hmm. and um, Kleenex, a little thing of Kleenex and some candy, a little mint and a mask, a little mask oh, sample, maybe oh, two single, masks. Single lip gloss. Uh -huh, yeah, from we, your little five pack. Yep. You just put one in there and you wrapped it up. And I think these were like $7. Yeah. I, mean, I sold every stinking one of them because they're so cute. And then your card is in there and it's just a little filler gift that people like to put in a, a gift basket with other things. And I think, yep, they were my Santa pants. And I think that's it. So how do I okay. escape this? Here we go. Stop share. Let's see. Good. So, Give you some ideas. Ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. One, one comment. I saw this today. Um, this was, hang on. I don't know if you can see it. Nope, she froze. I have a couple things to share too. Yeah, I want to okay. hear your stuff. Well, but Teresa, you're frozen. Teresa, you froze. Oh. Thing. There you are. Sorry. Okay. You froze. Okay. Anyway, it was a cute, just a pair of socks that she really tied cute on top of. The yes, I saw that. 
And I just thought that was really simple. There you go. Oh, That's exactly. It. So I couldn't cute. figure out the bow. I couldn't. I mean, the socks. Could not so figure out. She made the socks. Here, I can take it apart. It's pretty easy. Um, well, maybe it's not. Hang on. I got some tied. I couldn't Who's figure out how to make them. Again? Do so I? you fold them. I mean, I have them tied together, but you fold them. So you open them up and you use the heel as the top of the bow and just fold one inside the other, making sure that the heel, and you can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending on how much you want to bunch it. And then just tie this here. Oh. So the heel is the little bow points. And then, so I had that tied with just a, a ribbon and then tied it on top of the box. Is so the area? bottom, yeah. you can see mint bliss on the bottom. They're really cute. Super, Very cute. Super easy. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, not a lot of prep work. And yeah, I thought they were really cute. Yeah, and then of like some little bag that says, "Totally, you are totally fabulous." Yeah, <laughs> from pink, pink printing. Pink printing. Um, That's cute. I have a couple things that were really big sellers last year. That so it was the the kit of um, my cellar water and the eye makeup remover with the extra, and I just put them in an organza bag. Easy. And then this one really went crazy. I did the same thing with the minis and just put one of the, the oh, and I sell yeah. those for 10 bucks, and they were, it was a great way for people to try it. Um, if you have any leftover brush holders, just stick a bow on it, 10 bucks. Now this I just saw yesterday, no, the other day, because I, I ordered them on Amazon. It's filler up. Oh, I saw that. So it's, <laughs> wasn't it cute? Yeah. So I'm, I'm cute. debating, she had it with men's rubberized gloves to change your oil. And like, we don't wear those down here. So I, I don't know if I'm going to do gloves or not. Like right now I have the hand sanitizer wrapped, the, the gloves are holding it, and then the hand cream. So I'm still playing with what I'm going to do with that. But. What is the filler up? Is like a gas card or something? Like but, well, it's for like the gas gloves. Oh, gas I, gloves. Okay. Yeah, but that's not a big thing around here. So I'm. I just thought this was so stinking cute right. that I had to get it, and it it'll add to the men's. Maybe I'll put the men's beard and um, mm -hmm. the wash and the beard oil right. in yeah. here. I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna play around to do something with these because I just think they're cute. That's my latest for now. I usually okay. I usually do sell men's um, shave cream, and a lot of times I'll sticky dot or hot glue a little travel razor to it and then you can put it down mm -hmm. inside one of those tubes and do more of a manly bow but but right yep right mainly they're buying for themselves i mean let's be honest they're buying <laughs> right the um the little uh men's washes in the black bag i just tied that up with a with a, a buffalo check ribbon and at the dollar store you can get some really cute small ornaments and just hang it off of there and those all went because that very often, right. um, it, but just go a little, don't go crazy with it. Just do a little something extra with it. Um, but dollar store and Hobby Lobby and the Target dollar spot and all those places are going to be your go-to places because you don't want to spend a ton of money on that kind of stuff. Um, and you don't want to, or <laughs> you know, you don't want to be buying yet. That I thought was adorable. Yes, this was really think. cute. I think it's just our hand soap. It is our hand soap with a buffalo check towel wrapped around it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But and she must have wrapped, wrapped it, it in when black and white and then put a black and white towel right. around it with a red bow. So right. you can right. be just super creative. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she, this is kind of fun for collections. You probably saw that where you have three different long boxes and let's see, how did she do this collection? I think it was a hundred dollar collection. Two spa products in the bigger bottom um, one. So they'd probably be like, what, hydrating lotion and two in one or something like that. And then she has the foot and leg treatment in the medium size one. And then the hand cream on the top, that would be like a $56 set. But a hundred dollar set, you know, I forget what she said that was going to be. Well, you can figure that out. But that's the kind of thing that you could, um, that's, 
you want to keep your colors together. You want to, um, that would be the kind of thing that would almost replace the 12 days of Christmas tower, mm -hmm. you know, a um, little simpler and you can customize it. Uh, I mean, you could probably do more than three things if you wanted to, it might get a little unwieldy, okay. but. Yeah. Um, another thing that you guys might've noticed that she said, and, and this is just a, ah, didn't think about it, but when I'm using the envelope, boxes or anything like that. she says make sure you wrap each individual item in tissue paper yes <laughs> like I was just sticking it down in there sticking the the back of the satin hands thing I would yeah. fold that up sticking them. she goes little thing just like wrapping uh -huh. them in tissue uh -huh. maybe spritz them with a fragrance or you know just, just something that gives it that spa like yeah you know tissue I paper. always I always think so whoever said this eons ago, would you rather have your panties in a Walmart bag or a Victoria's Secret bag? There's a whole mm -hmm. lot of difference, not necessarily in the product, but certainly in the packaging. And so don't spend a ton on the packaging, but definitely think, think like your customer, yeah. think like, Ooh, would I like this? you know, would this make me go, Ooh, that's really pretty or, you know, and if that's the case, then take the little and then some with it. One last thing. I know we're going over, but do, if you have those beauty boxes, did yep. you see that, you know, she's talking about having a really a nice gift bag, but she put the beauty box in the bag. So it's like a right. gift inside the gift. Right. What's kind of cool. And you could throw in a, add a headband or samples, or maybe a shower puff, those little things. Um, you know, if you've got pedicure, you've got plenty of room in that beauty yeah. box to add other things to it. But once again, be careful of your price point because as it is, it's $48. And so you don't want to go too far overboard mm -hmm. with what you put in there, but you can also fluff that box up because the shred, I looked in that box and I went, I don't know. It's terrible. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. It's awful. But our little right peanuts, away. our peanuts are white. So you can put the peanuts down in the bottom, cover it with shred or cover it with other white shred. If you don't like that long strings and, and nestle the things down in there. And the peanuts work really easily to help you help it not shift around so much and help it sit down in there. So think about presentation. When you open that box, you want them to go, <gasps> rather than what were they thinking? <laughs> I was trying to think. Oh, Which is what I thought when I first opened that box. I'm just being real here. With guys, you know, doing something with more uh -huh. of a Santa theme, you know, just think more manly versus the versus spa. But there's, right. there's another stackable thing. But if you've not watched her, has it, raise your hand if you've watched it already. So I'm not just, okay. Make sure, take a minute. I mean, it's about 30 minutes is all. And I just, I just took pictures of the screen while she was on there okay. so that I could have some ideas. But plus on Peter's packaging website, this one is separate because she is using Mary Kay products. And I don't think she can do that on her Peter's packaging site. She does say, oh, this would fit a tubed lotion. <laughs> and you can kind of figure out what that is, Mary <laughs> Kay wise. But this is strictly Mary Kay. She's using strictly Mary Kay products and giving you great ideas. And it is well worth watching. Um, but also on Peter's packaging site, you've got fabulous ideas on, I mean, just how to make the flip and bow. I've never made, I'm, I'm made bows for years and never made one that simple ever, ever, ever. Fine. And I can't not make a bow that way anymore. It's, it's wild and it looks so pretty, but do yourself a favor, make sure you do it with wired ribbon. <laughs> yeah. She's here. Yeah. Well, thanks, Anybody girl. else yeah, have any questions ideas or, or questions? Ideas? No, questions I guess we did good. Okay. All right. Well, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Teresa, as soon as you find out that source for the multi-pack of the gift bags, let us know. Okay. That, that is a great one. Um, I just did a big Amazon order. Now, shoot, I got to go back and find those Santa pants. <laughs>
<laughs> good thing you got Prime and no shipping, so that's exactly. good. <laughs> exactly, that's true. Well, those days yes. of this psychologically, you think you need to group all your orders. Um, uh, I know like, you don't. Know. There's no shipping. Five minutes later, so. I order else. Five minutes later, I order, like they don't care. Yeah, they don't they, care. I know. All right, you okay, guys, you guys, on okay. with us. Thanks for being here. Have a good finish to your month. We'll see you next week. Finish strong. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody.